In this tutorial, we will be taking a closer look at the system menu available in the menu bar located in the upper half of the screen. The Ubuntu Linux distribution contains and uses the GNOME desktop environment as its main graphical user interface. Uh, this desktop environment is sometimes described as being somewhat similar to the Macintosh operating system in that the menu bar is located in the upper half of the screen instead of the lower half of the screen, as is the case in Windows. You will notice in the upper left-hand corner of the menu bar three menus designated with names, Applications, Places, and System. There are also some icons located uh, in the menu bar for shortcuts to various applications as well as a clock and some other items. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a closer look here at the system menu. Now the system menu, which is the third of the three menus uh, located in the menu bar, is, uh, is a menu that uh, contains a lot of very helpful tools and utilities. The first item in the system menu located in the menu bar is the preferences submenu. Now the items located here in the preferences submenu will be the topic of another tutorial, but suffice it to say for, for now that the preferences submenu is intended to contain configuration tools and other utilities to assist with, with setting of various preferences, various options. Uh, uh, setting up the, the screen or the screen saver or helping with the mouse and the keyboard and the fonts and things along those lines. That is the preferences submenu located under the system menu in the system bar. The administration submenu in the system menu on the menu bar is a submenu with various tools and utilities and programs to help with the administration of the, of the system. These are more critical applications. They're not setting preferences, but they're actually making configuration and system-wide changes in a variety of areas. This will also be the subject of another tutorial. The next item in the system menu is uh, one entitled Help. Now, this is a very important uh, submenu. This submenu, the Help submenu, contains lots of very helpful information. And it should be a place to go when seeking assistance with using Ubuntu Linux. The first item located in the help submenu is the system documentation located on your local computer. Uh, this, uh, this documentation can uh, also be obtained by clicking on the, the help icon in the menu bar. It's a little blue dot with a question mark in it. Uh, the first time it is run, it takes a, a minute or two to sort of initialize and uh, open up the database and sort of format the documentation things. Uh, but once it's, uh, once it's loaded and, and once you start using it, 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 it is very helpful. It, uh, it contains sort of an opening help center page with some, some very basic information new to Ubuntu, working with your desktop, things like that. Uh, it also contains help on, on the desktop and other applications. And one can also uh, search the entire documentation using this search bar. There's also a, a uh, Help Topics uh, button to easily get you back uh, to this main screen uh, where one can, can uh, go and, and look for specific help on specific topics. The Help submenu also contains links to uh, the Ubuntu Linux online documentation located on the Ubuntu website, community support available, uh, on the Ubuntu website, including the community forums, the community uh, maintained wiki, and other similar documentation. Uh, it contains a link to uh, commercial support if one is using Ubuntu Linux in an enterprise or, uh, or other similar uh, uh, location. And there's also an excerpt on, from the Ubuntu book. Uh, one more word on the community support. Linux, by and large, needs the help of users and uh, is based around users helping users. Unlike uh, paid for or proprietary software, where one can often call an 800 number and uh, wait a long time and, and, and perhaps get help and perhaps not, free distributions like Ubuntu Linux don't generally have that type of service. However, 
uh, the community organizes and rallies around Linux distributions and provides a wealth of information. And uh, so I, I, I highly recommend that, that folks who are using Ubuntu Linux become familiar with the online support available for Ubuntu, whether it's the online documentation or the online forums or the online wiki. Uh, all of that information is constantly updated, and the forums are, are especially a good place to go for help. Now, the, the, the next two items in the system menu are um, links, uh, or little icons to get some information about the GNOME desktop environment in general and about Ubuntu Linux. And then there is also a quit button. This quit button is the same quit button that is located in the upper right-hand corner of the menu bar. Uh, clicking on this button will uh, open up a box that presents a few options. Uh, logging out, uh, which is simply logging out of the graphical environment and going back to the login screen, uh, locking the screen um, and password protecting the screen, switching users, uh, which is to, that is to say to leave this session open and just simply switch users temporarily, to go into a, a hibernation state, uh, especially if one's using a laptop, to restart or reboot the computer, or to shut down the computer. And one, of course, can cancel out of this uh menu box uh, as well. So that is the uh, system uh, menu in some detail, and that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.